Rossiter. Um, I am uh, retired uh, for quite a long time now, uh, as I'm on my 87th trip around the sun. And um, however, uh, I'm being interviewed because uh, I had the extraordinary experience of being involved in the first successful kidney transplant done in Canada and in the Commonwealth, as it happens. It was between identical twins, who, both of whom were 15 and a half years old, in 1958, when I was at the Royal Victoria Hospital in McGill University in Montreal. And um, I'm not sure that there is time to go right through all the details of this, but um, it did um, make where there's no question that the girl who was admitted to the hospital in coma could be shown to be due to uh, kidney failure. And because of a previous report of two successful identical twin transplants in um, Boston in the previous few years, and despite the fact that there had been many attempts to do kidney transplants between deceased people and, and others uh, in the past that had failed. Uh, we decided to go ahead with this one and it was very successful. She put out uh, 11 and a half litres of urine in the first 24 hours, which we had a great uh, uh, tr trouble putting all the good stuff back and throwing away the bad stuff. Uh, but it, uh, she rapidly recovered and uh, and lived for 29 and a half years uh, and the donor and we're talking now of a 15 year old in 1958 the donor is alive and well and lives in Ottawa. I always think of what the Kidney Foundation uh, has a, had as one of its maxims uh, don't take your organs and bury them heaven knows we need them here Thank you.